Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we completed Mad Monster Mansion. Now you're probably wondering uh, where I am if you didn't pay much attention to the LP. Uh, if you're curious as to where this area is, this is inside the crocodile statue thing um, in Bubble Gloob Swamp. Uh, like I said, we forgot a Jiggy here on purpose, and now is our chance to get it. Huh, huh. Uh, I'm Mr. Vile, greeniest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or beat chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red gumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I don't know why I gave him a Wario voice for. I just kind of... But anyways, Crocodile is the only upgrade that can use the... The, uh, speedy shoes, whatever they're called. I think they're called the, uh... The quick trot or something like that. I don't know. What I do know is that he's the only one that can use them. Although, that's probably because he's the only one that can access an area involving them, besides the pumpkin. Pumpkins don't have legs, though, so you know how it is. This is delicious! This is delicious! I gotta do that, I gotta do the heavy voice again. That was delicious! This is the most violent eating contest in existence. Oh! Yeah, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Still giving him that Wario voice. That's not more like a Waluigi voice, but... I don't care. It's a joke. Don't cry, it's just a joke, okay? I didn't intend for anybody to cry when I made them all say boo-hoo. Get it? Because it was funny. No. You asswipe. No, get over here. I will eat your yumblies. You describe this mini game to anyone who's never played this game before. Maybe even people who have played this game before. It'll make no sense. You gotta eat the yumblies, avoid the grumblies. No, this isn't Sesame Street. Oh well. Just eating all my yumblies. Wah. Wah, wah. Okay, I'm gonna fail at this, ain't I? Come on, play. Come on. Come on. Come on, asshole. Oh, I gotta play them all over again? No, 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 never mind. I was scared for a second there. I find this to be the hardest one, simply because the supply gets a little low after a while with these yumblies, or whatever they are, and, uh, yeah, self-explanatory. Doesn't quite work as well as the next one does. If any of you have played this game before, you'll know what I mean. Come on, get over here. Get over here! I will not go without eating your flesh! That was... Banjo-Kazooie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, 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 not my shoes. Not the shoes. Uh, also, this game, you don't really need the shoes to win, but it really does help. I win! Mwah! Lucky Greeny wins! Must play last game. Eat only what is shown on top of screen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Breaking the fourth wall, are we? So at first it starts out like game two, just eating reds, but then there's a catch to it. Real soon here, yellows. Now we gotta eat the yellows. Still, this is a lot easier though, because the supply of yellows is a lot easier. I don't know. I prefer eating the yellows anyways, it's easier. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm failing. Eat them grumblies. Mm. 
red. This seems to be the best game I've ever done so far. Yummy. I don't know, I can't help but see these things as appetizing. That was great! And that just shows that it's really easy to win without... Mr. Vial never lost before! Green me can have plays! Mr. Vial now has top for challenge if Greeny not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vial chomps you for one life. Press A to accept and beat the chicken out. Or step right off like a slug or whatever. Mr. Vial is baddest to crack of all. Look at everyone. Nini Riz. Anyways. I always thought like Mr. Vial was like a Wario parody. I, just the way he talks. And the way this the, like not, not even his like not, just his voice, but the way he talks literally, the words he chooses, he actually sounds like fucking Wario. Eat that water! Nom 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 nom. And you know what? I'm not even gonna cut any of that out. That's not really important. It's not really worth cutting out. I mean, it's just a few seconds of me talking. Also, I'm gonna show a little cheat here. You can actually kill this guy as a crocodile and get extra health for it. And there's also a green explosion, but this doesn't matter. Mambo magic gets me. Oh, fuck it. Let's see if can get him over here. Come on, come here, come here, sure. Oh, you don't get extra health. You guys already get extra health with this guy. Oh, well. One little health boost is nothing. Vitality is always important. <laughs> now, we're getting to the point now where we're gonna want to start using the, the magic cauldrons you discovered. I don't know why I'm not using one right now. Because uh, they're, lead, they're going to lead us to all the new rooms of the, 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 uh, the uh, Gruntilda's Lair. Gruntilda's Lair. And uh, getting to all those new rooms is vital for our success. Also, I don't think I got the jiggy out of her eye yet, which I want. So I'm gonna go get that real quick. Master's chase, you there are hounding. When you'll get a grunty pounding, and I don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna go in. Actually, no. I'm gonna take the shortcut that we discovered because it actually helps to go this way. There we are. That's better. And we're in Rusty Bucket Bay. This is every single Banjo Kazooie player's dreaded level. No one likes this place. Yeah, that's right. So I was wondering where it was. This is like the dreaded level of this game. No one likes doing this level. But everyone has done it. We all know. We've all done this level. We've all gotten. We've all gotten through it. We've all manned up. And I will soon man up on camera. Actually, just man up some more. I mean, come on. We all know. We all know. Like, you know, I was gonna tell a joke about my dick, but it was too long. Also, these things here. What are these things called? I don't know what they're called, but anyways, these things, the Steven Spielbergs, um, if you see a Steven Spielberg that isn't the same color, I'll show that in a sec here, it will eat your brains. I'm calling them Steven Spielberg, so someone actually tells what they're called, which is not going to be anytime soon, because I'm only on episode 29 of Kirby's Epic Yarn when it comes to uploading. You guys know I upload ahead of time. Come here, my friend. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, I got a cookie for you. Nope. But I will show it a sec here. Now you saw that Steven Spielberg I jumped into it was gray on the inside, which is pretty acceptable, makes sense. It's gray, it's, it's the Steven Spielberg, it's gonna be gray inside. But this Steven Spielberg isn't gray inside, it's red inside. And let me show you what happens when you get close to this, this is disgusting. This is like one of the most terrifying enemies in the game. That is just terrifying! That is a terrifying, like, monster Steven Spielberg. 
I should probably stop calling him Steven Spielberg because I sound like a dumbass. But yeah, there's no way of killing them at all. Also, there are these things. They look like the enemies from uh, Bumbo's Mountain. Now, I just want to show a little, just a bunch of Easter eggs this level. That right there is the beta design from Barry in Conquer. Oh, the original Conquer, but I play live and reload, so. Fuck you guys. I don't see why everyone hates it up that that version. I don't. I, it's, it's just as good as the others. It's just got really bad animation because they were too cheap to redo it. Actually, you know it'd be really smart. Do the hard part now. Get that out of the way. Let's do it. Actually, no, let's not do it because we're not ready yet. Actually, there's a Stephen Spielberg at the other side of the boat that we need to go to. And um, yeah, that's that's very important that we go to that Stephen Spielberg. And in that Stephen Spielberg is going to be careful to the right one, because the other one's an evil Steven Spielberg. Also notice these evil Steven Spielbergs aren't affected by the shadows, and also... So that could be very useful. Oh my god, if I ever got on a boat cruise and we go up there, we're like, What's, yo, uh, yo, this thing here? Like, yeah, whatever that is called. And we're like, yeah, it's Steven Spielberg. And this guy's here. Don't him. I just attacked him through the wall. This game. Also, the notes come very fast and slow. I think it'd be smart if I went for the musical notes first. Before I did anything in this level. Actually, no, it would not be smart if I went for the musical notes first. Because the last four are in this thing anyways. This, this huge monstrosity of humanity. It, this is this level. Oh my god, it just, it's just so... It's its really a hard level. I'm serious. This game is not gonna play little kid with you anymore. This is when the game starts getting really fucking hard. Unfortunately, there's only two levels left, though. But this one is that one level. You know, that one level. It wasn't really funny. Fuck it. Come on. Come on. Is I gonna fight with that beehive there? Because I don't really want to. I'm not in the mood to fight bees off. But I would like to go in here. Dun, 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 That's part of our last health boost, besides the uh, double health that I mentioned in the first episode. For some weird reason. I don't know why I felt it appropriate to mention that. Okay, okay, now you'll notice that these things will stop after a while. They will not stop if you didn't press that button into Stephen Spielberg earlier on the boat. So, yeah. Make sure you hit that. Oh, I dread this part. I dread this part. I hate being a person that goes for the mumbo tokens. I really do. I don't, I'm not proud to go for the mumbo tokens. But I know it is important to my success. Oh, God, this is so scary. Look at that. Look at them fuckers spin, okay? I'm serious. Fuck it! Fucking bananas! Banana Rama! Oh shit. Big booty bitches, big, yeah. big booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, big Dude, booty nigga. bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, shit. big booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, yeah. big booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, big Dude, booty nigga. bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, shit. big booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, yeah. big booty bitches. I got big. Booty bitches, big, big Dude, booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, y'all. Okay. If I fucking fail this again. There are going to be some faces beat in at Rare Headquarters this day. Thank you! Game!
Oh my jeez, um. It's not that hard. Oh my god. This fucking game. Okay, I'm just gonna press this R button here. I'm just gonna. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I don't like this key level. I don't like this level, okay? I better stop everything. That slows everything to a s almost a halt. Now, if you make it this far, you get an extra life. So there's somewhat kind with this whole thing. Whoa! I got two lives, man. Not cool. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No, oh. no, 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 no! Not this level. Oh god! Anything but this. This is like fucking surgery. This part here. I will show you guys what I mean. Okay, that didn't quite show what I meant, because I just did that without try without even trying, but... I'm serious, that's like fucking surgery when you're not... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Holy. <laughs> this part doesn't move, don't worry. Don't get so worked up. Doesn't move. See, look, I got a Jiggy. Got a Jiggy! First Jiggy of the level. Oh god. Oh god, doesn't... Camera's, camera's glitching. Camera's glitching in the hardest area of the game. Like fucking nuts and bolts. I know that game. I know the game is very bad. Recognizing the fact that it's fucking Banjo Kazooie, but they even mentioned this is the hardest part in gaming history, and that they were aware of how hard this part is. Rare, you are truly assholes. Okay, there are two mumble tokens. Once you've hit both buttons, a timer will start, and that timer will stop the wheels in the back of the ship. You need to hurry there and get the jiggy. Although, on the other hand, you can also get the two mumble tokens while this thing is stopped. I'm probably not going to get the mobile tokens, because how much time we got here? It matters how much time I get. If they give me a lot of time, I will go for the mumble tokens. If... Fucking no timer. 65 seconds! Holy Jesus! That's a nice timer right there, game. I'm just going to grab some notes then, because I don't fucking care. I'm just going to come grab this mobile token here. One token wouldn't hurt me. It actually takes 25 to get the next transformation. Hurry. Also, I'm pressing the R button, which is really useful in this level. Um, no, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go back and press the buttons again. That would be a pain in the ass. Actually, no, that'd be absolutely vital. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna fucking make it. Oh, God. <sighs> I don't wanna! Okay, fine. I'm just gonna go again. Let's go back down. I'm not gonna fucking mess with this. Okay, I got two mobile tokens. That's good enough. A simple task! You attack! I gave you one job! If anyone knows that meme, that is the best fucking meme. I don't know why. I just, I just love that meme so much. I gave you one job. And then there's like something like really fucking messed up. Like a, uh, like a box that's uh, sent to America and it's in China or some shit. It's just fucking hilarious. You were given one job. But the funniest one is the one with the, with the cat litter. And it has this opening on like the wrong side. And the open, there's like an open box of cat litter. It's just, the, the lid is on the other side though. Where there's nothing underneath it. It says you are given one job. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. This this level this level is nerve wracking. Like fuck. Like I don't even know. Like I don't know what was going on in Rare's headquarters at the time. Like this clearly wasn't like fucking like Sonic R or some shit where they're like on like a million drugs at once while they made it. Okay, thank you, Pain. You did me good for once. I almost fell! Ladies and gentlemen, this has got to be careful here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is like fucking surgery, I swear. Okay, here it goes. Let's. No, I'm not gonna let it move, just fuck it. Okay, now they stop! You almost have a heart attack! Because now you gotta run through this thing. 
Actually, just don't challenge running through it. It's just like these things is the only thing you have to really wait for. And the second one that's at the exit, but that one's no challenge. Um, spin, spin, quick, 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 come on, spin. Baloney sandwiches! Does that help you spin? Okay, good. I'm just gonna run like a bitch. Because there is no leniency with this level. They are, they, I swear, like most games, they're pretty lenient with puzzles like this. But, no! Banjo-Kazooie Man? No way! That'd be, that wouldn't be the rare motto. You know... Million dollars, gotta rip them off, little kids. This one level, though, only this one level. All the other levels, kids love them. This level, not so much. That's the thing with Rare, I don't like about Rare's games. Is the last level, I know it's supposed to be hard. Under the scum, you'll breathe your last. Because air is used twice as fast. Okay, so in other words, you, you lose air twice as fast underwater, and actually swimming on the surface even takes away air. And, um... We got the fucking Jiggy! From in the ship's butthole! We got the sh- Oh my fucking lord! Thank you, Jesus! There is a god! Well, actually, um, I actually- That was my line a couple days ago. Because, like, normally, like, in school, the only thing I never have is fucking pencils. Small things I never have. It's fucking pencils. And I'm just like, oh shit, I'm out of pencils. I gotta dig in my backpack. Which has Cthulhu plus more stuff inside it. And I'm just like, oh god, I gotta find a pencil under here. I find like three really long, perfect eraser pencils. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Now let's pay this toll. Thank you, I want the birds to leave your platform. Now if you should pay him again. Twice as much, I guess. The platform extends and moves out. Which, I don't know why it extends if it's just gonna move out, but okay, I don't care. This is how you get these ones. A lot of people have trouble with these for some reason. I don't, I don't, I don't have trouble with them at all. Um, I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, I'm gonna call it the end if it isn't. Is this, we, just, we just accomplished the impossible in this episode. And I just fucking... I need ponies or some shit. I don't know anymore. This is fucking... We just accomplished the impossible.